I'm Melissa Sardelli here with your online nightly newscast for Wednesday, March 24th. These are our top stories posted on WPRI.com tonight. A young couple is found dead in their North Providence apartment, and police believe it was a murder-suicide. The incident happening at the Robin Hollow apartment complex on Gillian Avenue in North Providence, seen here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. The bodies of 21-year-old Mindy Tardiff and her 26-year-old husband, Fandy Seth, were discovered this morning. Police say Seth called 911, then while on the phone, shot Tardiff in the head and then took his own life. Family members say Tardiff had recently decided to leave Seth after three years of marriage. And we have uncovered new details on a shooting in Providence. Three teens are still recovering tonight after being shot in South Providence. The teens had just left a basketball game at the Davy Lopes Recreation Center. One was shot in the calf, one in the shoulder, and one in the buttocks. We checked with police. They tell us no arrests have been made. A judge is trying to decide if a mistrial should be declared in a case of a Providence police officer charged with on-duty rape. Defense lawyers claim the accuser has changed her story multiple times and say she's not credible. Patrolman Marcus Huffman is accused of raping the alleged victim inside a police substation in 2007, then responding to the 911 call. The jury has been dismissed until Monday. A local man who's helped hundreds of abandoned and abused animals is getting a second chance. Dan McKenzie, the former owner of Bonniedale Farms, tells Eyewitness News that he has a new location for the farm. And we told you at the end of last year that the Gloucester farm was foreclosed due to a mortgage mishap. McKenzie says the new safe haven in North Situate is set to open later this month. And be sure to stay here on WPRI.com for all your latest news.